In the command window, type run important. It shows this message. We can help your research and engineering project. No matter of the size and the topic of your project, we can help. Visit www.yeeprogrammer.com. This is Marco Wu from yeeprogrammer.com. Today I'm going to talk about a few um, signal processing functions in MATLAB. And I'm going to talk about a built-in GUI for you to understand signal processing in MATLAB. Now the built-in GUI is quite uh, simple. It has been developed since uh, I think it's 1993. But it is a good tool for you to understand some basic function of uh, signal processing. Now, let me type the GUI. It called XP sound. Okay, when I open it up, you can see um, there is a sound display play sound button info button codes button on the left hand side is a port okay now basically you can see there is a two drop down menus um the second one is a time series the second drop down menu the first one is time series second one power spectrum like you can see like the power of different uh, frequencies Now, you can also choose another one, spectrum, spectrumogram, spectrumogram. Now, what it is is you can see the power of the signal file at different time. Now, the cooler color represent a um, lower energy. So you can see there are some green dog, there are some red dog, the red dog have like more energy. So that is how you look at it and the X is the time. Okay. Now we can see other sound clip. That is the FM signal for the time series. Okay. Now we can see the power spectrum. The power spectrum is limited to a very low frequency. And we can also see the spectrum orogram. Now we can see that the high frequencies have a very low energy. Okay. Now, but how are we going to be able to use those two functions? We we see it displayed in the GUI, but how can we use those functions? If we have a signal, if we have like some uh, Bing wave signal, we have some EKG signal, EEG signal, how can we use those? Now we can open up the file and to look at it. When we open up the file, we can look for the function. Now in here, this part is trying to display the time series signal, display the power spectrum and display the spectral homogram so you can see the function to call the power spectrum and the function to call the spectral homogram okay and then we can go to the command window to type help we go up we we know okay this period autogram is the power spectrum density it's basically is the power spectrum, but display in periodical method. Okay, so we can what we can do is we can copy the example and take a look. Now in this example, five, you can see there is an input five twelve. The five twelve is is like uh what frequency we want to uh, analysis up to in the power spectrum is 512 okay and the fs is the sample uh, sampling frequency
so we can see like this display. Now we can see the second function. We type help and then the spectral hologram. It's the short time Fourier transform and display it in a time series method. Okay, so we can go to copy an example and then try to understand from the example. Now, let me copy this example and then run it. You see a curve. This curve is like the time and the frequency curve. Now, but what it means in here? Now, let us read the, the Y, the time series signal. Let's see, make the port of the time series signal. If we look at this port, you can see when the time beginning, the frequency is lower. And when the time is higher, the frequency is higher. So Basically, the time series signal is matched with what you is so in the the curve on the right hand side, but that's just not what we saw in the uh, GUI. Why? Because in this sample, it it have the FC and TC. FC and TC is the center of the frequency power. TC is the center of the time of that interval. Now. Let's make the port like the one in the GUI. Okay. Now you can see like basically that is the same thing, but in this port, the latest port, the frequency and the times axis are reversed. However, you can see like okay, for for the time is very low. The low frequency value have stronger power. Like that is matching with what we see in the time curve. So that is how can you use this function. If your research or engineering projects are falling behind, eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget. Let us know what you need. You'll find relief here. Visit eeprogrammer.com. We can help you.